Playing board games is uh, usually a good way to spend time with the family around the holidays. But that wasn't the case for one Lebanon family who got a disturbing surprise while playing Cranium, the family edition. Contact KY3's Kara Rastelli, Kara Rastelli joins us with a story you'll only see on KY3. Kara. A question about how to play the family-friendly game of Cranium led Lisa Ballard to a very family-unfriendly phone call. Bring something out. <laughs> With a brood of five plus a few friends, board games are a must on a cold winter day for the Ballard family. So did she put a blue on? But last week their regular game night was interrupted after a question about Cranium Family Edition led to an accidental call to a sex hotline. Hey there, sexy guy. It floored me. The first number Lisa Ballard called was provided on the instruction sheet for the game. The number is at the bottom of it. Don't wait to meet new and exciting people. Talk to them now. Call one 800 9 Six, two, it was like, would you like to talk to live people? You know, and we decided, well, you know, since it was after hours, okay, sure. Maybe they would send it to a live person. So she called the second number. And that's not what it led us to. Hundreds of hot girls call free all day and night. It's supposed to be for kids eight to adult. Lisa is glad she made the call instead of one of her kids, but worries other families might not be so lucky. Kids could be playing this at a slumber party. She now hopes the game's manufacturer, Hasbro, will issue a recall. The purpose is it's a question and a comment hotline. You know, you don't expect it to be what it is. Ha <laughs> ha. In the meantime, she and her brood will stick to Uno. <laughs> Wait, bye. Missed you. We have contacted Hasbro, but have not yet received a return call. Now, in addition to an explicit message, the um, hotline also asked for a credit card number. Obviously, Lisa didn't put that in, but she's worried that kids wouldn't know any better. Well, I wish we could, could have gotten a hold of them or they would have returned our phone call because I'm so interested in how this could have happened. Yeah, unfortunately, they didn't return our call. Perhaps they're not in because of the holiday. Mm -hmm. We'll definitely let our viewers know once they return our calls to see if there's going to be a recall or what people can do. She obviously tried to call Hasbro, but couldn't because it was the wrong number. And so we could have been the first to notify them, so they made just be finding out about it. Perhaps. Did you just find yeah. their number on the website or something? Well, from the sheet that was in the in the. Oh, I'm sorry. Online, we search for media relations and call that number. That's interesting. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Kara. Sure.